the blue corner is the king with a speed very few fighters can match. This striker loves to attack from the outside with devastating kicks, and he'll be looking to give the UFC fans a quick knockout here tonight. An NCAA champion who developed knockout power in his strikes, Josh Koscheck has become a top-ranked UFC welterweight. Since his appearance on The Ultimate Fighter Season 1, he's claimed over a dozen UFC victories. And tonight, he's hoping to add one more to that impressive record. his way to the octagon and he's moved down a division he's trained extensively in muay thai and he loves to use those vicious leg kicks to chip away at his opponents he's got great knees especially in the clinch and he's good at mixing up his attacks to create openings for those big power shots the king ready to go and establish himself firmly in this new division Josh Koscheck making his way to the world famous octagon. Josh Koscheck has been competing in the UFC since the first season of The Ultimate Fighter, and he has a ton of octagon experience. He's extremely athletic and a world class wrestler. Josh Koscheck ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Dodge. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, David the King. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Fresno, California, Josh Koscheck! Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, Superman of YouTube. Um, I hope you guys like my new intros and stuff like that, you know, like when an announcer calls my name or when I'm walking down. <laughs> um, it basically, I went into... Uh, edit my fighter and you know i changed a few things because i got tired of my dude having all the generic things so i hope you guys like it um if anybody knows any of the uh, best animations and stuff like that when the guy is walking down to the cage and stuff just let me know and i'll check them out <laughs> um but let's get into this match um, I actually went down in my weight class to uh, fight Josh Koscheck. Everybody already knows that I'm a middleweight, but, you know, I had to take on a welterweight to see how I would do in a division. Now, you can already see that I'm doing pretty bad because this dude is reversing my takedowns and stuff like that. I guess I'm not used to this weight, so what I'm going to do is after this fight, I'm going to step it back up to middleweight. <laughs> I'm not even going to waste any time. But uh, let's talk about Josh Koscheck for a little bit. Basically, this guy was in the Ultimate Fighter 1. Um, he didn't take the, you know, everything home, you know, he did get uh, eliminated and all of that, but it's all good. Dude had a nice career. He even got a dude, um, how should I say, kicked out of the UFC. Well, he didn't necessarily get him kicked out of the UFC. It was all Paul Daly's fault. Um, if Paul Daly wanted to hit him after the bell, it wouldn't have been a problem. But um, I guess, you know, that was real personal or something like that. But Dana White said that. He doesn't care if Paul Daly is the best 170 pounder in the world. He will never be in the UFC ever again. So that's kind of crazy. But uh, check out Josh Koscheck May 5th up against Johnny Hendricks. That may be a good fight. You know, I'm going to check it out. I don't know if y'all guys want to check it out. But if you ain't got nothing to do May 5th, <laughs> check out that fight. But um, you can see that I'm on the ground right now. 
Um, you already know how I do these commentaries now. Uh, I'm going to leave the second and third round live. <laughs> um, because uh, I was watching a few Kevin Hart movies. As you can tell in the title, I was getting loose. So <laughs> I can't wait to show you guys these second and third rounds. But um, you can see now that it's going to be a great fight on the ground. Because that's all I seem to keep trying to do. I keep trying to take him to the ground. And it's actually working. Like right here, check out the, the nice posture. Uh-oh. Got him. <laughs> man, I can't wait to the second round, man. Um, I'm going to highlight you guys in a bit. <laughs> Back to their feet. And another takedown. Round one is in the books. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. Find those punches. Hey, and find the knees right after. Get to the body some too, okay? Hey, you... Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. And here we see the takedown finally get finished. A lot of struggle to get that. And this was that hard-fought takedown to get the fight to the mat. And here we see some really decent takedown defense, making it tough to finish that. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Bring up that combat, Nate. Get yourself. The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. All right, all right, all right. Let's get this thing popping. Let's turn it up a notch. Uh oh, you don't want to do that. I could leak it. Come on, if you're not going to guard it, I'm going to keep throwing it. What do you mean? Combinations for days, baby. Ah, god damn. That was a nice overhand. Oh, uppercut. Uh huh, you're going to learn today. You're going to learn today. Ah, nice cross. Come on, man. My combination game is getting fierce. Oh, shit, he caught the kick. Ah! Come on. Yeah, that's right. Root for me. Root for me. I'm going to get up. It's okay. Ah, good body kick. Ah. Oh, shit. Ah, I'm on the cage. Dang, get off me. Yo, this dude has great. Ah, no. We can't let this happen. Get off me. All right. Boom. Oh, that uppercut should have caught. Damn, he caught the kick again. He must, he must know it's coming now. Ah, uh, get off me! Oh shit! Come on! He's acting real aggressive right now. He's trying to cut me off from the cage. Oh shit! I thought I blocked that. Get off me! Uh huh. Get off me! Nope! Get off me! That's right! That's right! Uh huh! Uh huh! Uh huh, you gonna learn today. You gonna learn today. All right, all right, all right. Now nah, don't don't run, don't run, don't run. Ah. Whoa, good kick. Uh huh. Oh shit. Nah, here we go. I got something for you. Come on, come on. Ah. Fuck. Come on. This motherfucker's blocking my transitions like motherfucker. Come on. Don't be scared. This guy, he's a punk. He don't want to take it to the ground. Oh. Oh. This dude is so much faster than me. Ah. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Uh-huh. This is what I wanted. Oh, you should have been rocked after that. What the f Oh, he's down. He's down. Let's get him. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Come on. This bitch. God damn it. Done. That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. Okay. Yeah, they're right I'm utilizing the cage. Shit. I know I need to block his fucking transitions, man. This dude is awesome, though. Like, what do you expect me to do? I'm trying everything I can out here. Shit. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. That was a great display of counter striking. Here's that first big one that landed. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world class striking right there. 
And this was another knockdown. Good power in these shots. Nice action there, Mike. I need you to circle left and stay aggressive. Get that leg kick going. Get Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Here you go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Me and Brittany going to have some fun after this match. You best to believe it. Uh-huh, jab, jab. Nice leg kick. Oh, let me get my combinations. I'm bleeding, though? Fuck. Nice leg kick. Yo, I'm going to keep throwing these combinations, dude. Like, you're not going to block them. I'm just going to use you the entire match. Come on. Here we go. Ah, let's go. Got the takedown. Uh-huh. Half guard. Get off me. Full mount. That's what I want. Yeah. You going to learn today. You going to learn. Uh-huh. One bed. One pillow. You want to go night-night, nigga? You want to go night-night, nigga? You want to go night-night, nigga? Let's go. A display of ground and pound that you and I have seen in a long time. That was very, very nasty. The King finishes the fight. Here we see it one more time. Look at it from this angle. with the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 20 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, David the King. The King is the winner. Oh my lord, that was a hell of a fight. Whew. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, my next UFC fight will be against Anderson Silva. So definitely check that out. Um, I'm going to probably bring that out maybe tomorrow or the day after that. Really not sure, but uh, I really want to thank you guys for watching. Um, this is IKC signing out. Peace.